Here we go. Oh, hey there, guys. You caught me in the middle of putting some finishing touches on Preacher, one of the characters that's going to be featured in the classic RPG that I'm making, uh, Meta Alpha Imperative. Uh, but while you're here, let's go ahead and um, let me go ahead and show you a little quick tip that I've got for you uh, on character creation and how to insert your own custom sprites uh, and character faces into RPG Maker VX Ace. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure you save your files here. Uh, I'm just using paint to touch these guys up, but where these guys, uh, where I made the base characters was actually in RPG Maker. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that uh, right now. Uh, and this character here was um, drawn up for me by Caitlin Ferguson, who was colored by Christopher Rosario. Um, so I've got that too. Uh, but let me show you what you guys can do really easy, really simple, uh, and by yourself. You're going to open up your project in RPG Maker VX Ace. As you can see, I've got um, Meta uh, opened already. And you're going to find where you want to put that said character. Um, I don't know, here's a good spot. And you're going to, um, well first what you're going to do is you're going to open up the character generator. Because you have to have something first uh, in order to place it there. So you open up the character generator, this little symbol right up here, and it opens up this nice little window that lets you basically create a character from scratch. Uh, you can choose between male, female, and then you've got all these different um, variations that you can put onto that character. Uh, you can change the front hair separately from the rear hair, um, face shape you can modify, ears, eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, etc. Uh, and then you can start messing with the um, the clothing and get exactly what you want for the clothing and even change the color of it. And normally these things match up with um, clothing types um, from neck to cloth. But you can kind of play around with it and mix and match. See what you like. Uh, and if you're really having trouble designing a character or you just got no idea and you want to get inspired you can go ahead and hit the generate random button and that will just create um, a whole bunch of different possibilities that you could have um, keep in mind it does not change the clothing type of the characters you gotta do that all yourself um, let's say you find somebody oh that guy looks fun um, just add a couple accessories on to him and double goggles I like that okay so we're gonna go with double goggles guy so we're gonna go ahead and hit the output face button uh, and this is gonna stick it in graphics uh, and faces uh, and that's exactly where you want to go make sure you name it something um, we'll name this guy double goggles man hit save and then you want to save the character too so we're gonna hit output character and put this double goggles man small and hit save and what that has done is that has placed both the face and the character in the exact spot you want it so that way you can use it um, in your game so all I gotta do is just create a new event we'll call this event double goggles man speaks and we're gonna change the graphic for this and we're gonna go through um, our graphics until we find Double Goggles Man, which is right here. We're gonna choose the image we want. Go with this one, make him not move. And then we're gonna make sure it's set to action button so that way when we hit enter on him, he'll speak. We're gonna go show text, find the face. Come on, Double Goggles Man, where are you? There he is, Double Goggles Man. Okay, so we're gonna bring him in. We're gonna make him say something like, preview it, make sure it's not going off the edge. Yep, we're good. Hit apply. Okay. And poof, there he is. Now we're gonna drop in our player. 
Do, do, do. We're going to hit save and test it out. And so there you have it. Double Goggles Man has just been officially introduced into our game. Um, pretty cool, pretty simple. Uh, but let's say you don't want to use the uh, the character generator, and you want to act. You actually have someone who's drawn something for you, and you want to bring that into your own game. Well, that's also really simple too. All you got to do is just go to the resource manager, um, and where you want to bring in your own. Uh, faces for your characters is right here under faces and so I already have a couple um, drawn for me and what I want to do is go to the resource manager um, click on faces and we're gonna click on import and we're going to look for the new ones that I've got now that I can upload and that should be under where are you where are you meta characters final and here they all are and so we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, the guy that I was showing you earlier, Preacher, and upload his faces in here. Um, and so we're just going to shift and click on everything to upload all at once. These are all different emotions for Preacher that I had uh, drawn by Caitlin. I'm gonna hit open and poof, they're already inside. So right around here is where Preacher starts and he keeps going all the way down through here. Um, and I've got a lot of characters in my game, so I've got a lot of things to import. Um, but that's how you take care of that. And so now you can go down to, to his faces and hit preview, and there's the new face that's loaded in. And there you go. Now, uh, another thing, if you want to import your own uh, little sprites, your little own, own little guy, kind of like our Devil Goggles man, uh, except you had them customized yourself because you brought them up in paint and did some things to them. Well, that's also very easy. You've got to import uh, into characters first, and you got to find where you save them. I uh, put them here under my files. Universe, meta. Okay, and then we're going to see we want to load in Preacher right now. So I'm looking for Preacher, there he is. Use Preacher Small. Uh, open that, it's gonna ask you what's your transparent and translucent, leave it green, like this. Uh, hit OK, and there he is. And you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing for your battlers. And OK, and there you go, and they're loaded into the game. Um, that pretty much does it for how to import your own custom characters and everything into the game and how to make them work just fine. Uh, there are no issues with that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Um, subscribe, uh, rate the video, leave a comment, uh, and check out some of the other cool stuff that Passive Line is doing or some of the other awesome things that are happening in the Rediverse. Um, and I hope to talk with you guys soon. Passive Line, sign out. would like to make an appearance. As you can see, I am wearing my Star Wars The Old Republic t-shirt layout is going to look like. It looks a little complicated, it's very colorful, but uh, I'll guide you guys through it and it should be pretty easy.